This is the plaintiff, Peter. He says the defendants parked a boat on his property without permission. And the thing's an old piece of junk from 1972 that isn't seaworthy. The defendants haven't moved it off his property no matter how hard he pushes them to. And he's had it with these landlubbers. And is suing for the $2,670 it's going to cost him to remove the boat and junk it. These are the defendants, Victor and Scott. Victor says the plaintiff allowed him to store the boat there for 50 bucks a month. So he dropped it off and propped it up on stilts. Next day, the guy changes his mind out of the clear blue sky. He doesn't have a transportation trailer and he was told to move the boat when he could. And now he's getting sued? Come on. They're accused of abandoning a boat. All parties, please raise your right hand. Peter, you are suing Victor and Scott, that's how everybody wants to be referred to, just by their first names, for $2,670 that you say it will cost you to remove a boat that Scott gave to Victor and Victor dumped on your property without your permission. That's correct. What happened? How did this come to light here? Actually, you know what? Put a pin in it that moment, because really, I want to know what, I, I know you came upon it. I want to know what happened here. You had a boat that you got how? I had a boat that was given to me that I put up on a website for free, and Victor got a hold of me and said he wanted a boat. How did you get the boat from point A to point B? I had it on a trailer, and I brought it to his property. What kind of property is this? I have two commercial buildings with a uh, big parking lot between It's a the parking two. lot for two businesses. Okay, so who gave you permission to leave it in the parking lot of two businesses? Well, um, I assumed it was a friend of mine's property, so when I had Wait, put whose it, property did you assume it was? Um, another friend of Taya. Uh, Taya. And you know her how? Uh, through uh, my brother, who has, um, you know, friends. <laughs> I'm trying to understand how you go about thinking that it would be okay to dump a boat that you receive for free in someone's parking lot. Uh -huh. So I'm going to need you to put your big boy pants on now and explain to me why you thought that was possible. Who gave you permission to do that? Uh, I was given permission from um, Taya to drop it off on her property, and I believe She that said that was her property? Well, no. What did she say exactly? She had told me that um, that the part where I had left the boat at, it wasn't her property, and she. Where's her property? It was right. It's right behind. They're they're kind of like right together. It's just you know, it's just divided by a fence. Why haven't you just moved the boat when I you real? It's no longer on a trailer. So you parked it at the wrong place? Well, when um when we had put it there. Before it was officially off the trailer, someone had came to us at that time and was on the phone with Peter, and Peter had agreed that I can leave the boat there for $50. Peter, did that happen? Not quite that way. What way did it? I got a call. Uh, a friend of mine who has a uh, motorhome there, once in a while stays in it, was around the corner of the building, so he heard things going on, and he came out to take a look. And then he calls and you. And then he called me. And told and me. And then you get on the phone with Victor. Then Victor got on the phone, and Victor said, uh, I need to leave a boat here on the trailer, and I'll come by in the morning, and, uh, you know, we'll discuss what's got to be done with it and so forth. So. Why wouldn't you I, say no? Get your boat off my. I don't understand. Well, I, tend, I try to accommodate. No, no, people. no, no. That sounds so weird. Why didn't you say, get your boat? off of my property. How come that didn't happen? Now, the next day you guys talk and what happens? The next day I came into work and I saw a boat up on three piles of uh, concrete blocks with some wood. And right away I knew that I'd been duped. When you say duped, why? Well, I know a little bit about boats and a very little bit about it, but I know when a boat is not seaworthy and, and really should be disposed of. And when I saw it up on blocks, I said, this is trouble. And when Victor showed up, I, f I found out that, in truth, he had been duped, so to speak. Did you go up and see the boat? No. <laughs> How old are you? 22. OK, you're an idiot, yeah. OK? And um, 
you, I cannot tell you the many ways that you are. Because what you did was take his headache off his hands and make it your headache. And then by taking this behemoth off of a trailer and putting it on blocks, you have no idea the headache you've created. It is so monumental. How is it going to leave there? I didn't get to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gotta connect the dots, Victor. But in the meantime, what's your plan? Because you can't leave it there. Okay, and two months have passed. You have no plan. Do you know what it's going to take to get that boat now that it's off of? You know about boats, right? A little bit. Why would you let this guy put it on a couple of blocks like this? Be and he's not in a marina. He's not. So how is he going to live? How? In fact, I'm asking you, how does that boat leave there? Tell me. It goes back on the trailer. How does it get back on the trailer? You just hook up the winch. There's a cable and you winch it back on. Uh, wait, just a second. Yeah. A cable and a winch. A winch on what? On the front of the trailer. The trailer has a crank that cranks boats on and off. You need the trailer? Yes. So do you, do you have a winch on that trailer? I don't have the trailer no more. Liar. I don't. Do you have the trailer? <laughs> no, I do Show not. me proof you sold the trailer. I don't have it with me. And so you're suing him, why? Because? Because I have to dispose of the boat. No, no, I know why you're yeah. suing Victor. Are you kidding me? Did it sound like I didn't know? You're suing. Scott, why? Because I felt Scott took advantage of an unexperienced and unsuspecting victim or customer. Oh, that may be so, but how does that give you a right to sue Scott? Like, in other words, um, there's a concept in the law called standing. That means I can't just be a social justice warrior, see something I think is wrong, and sue people for it. I have to have the ability to sue them because the law recognizes my right to sue them. You have the right to sue Victor because Victor trespassed on your property and dropped something on there and won't remove it because he's clueless and he has no money, all right? Um, and it's going to cost you what to remove it? I figured uh, $2,600, $2,700. How do I mean, you the figure whole, that? I have a uh, hauler, my garbage <sighs> hauler, who provides me with dumpsters when I'm doing demolition. I had him come down, survey the boat, put it all on, a, on his letterhead, all the different uh, actions that would have to take place. OK, can I see I that? And then I added some to my, you know, of my own for final cleanup. May I see that? Did you ever call Cars for Kids or one of those um, charities that accept any old car or boat? I, I didn't. Who did? I did. You did. And uh, what'd they say? Because my name's not on the registration, I can't donate the boat. OK. Um, well, I deemed the boat abandoned. Let's start with that. Um, so you can do whatever you want to it. Now, the question is, what can you do to it? Will these fine folks go pick it up? But what do they have to do? You're a boater. Mm -hmm. What the heck's going on here? How are we going to do this? Because well, I, 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 who is, I, I don't, I'm not trusting this $2,600 estimate. Can I see it? <clears throat> It's, it, I mean, I realize this is way harder than it looks. I know that, but. Well, I tell you, we can't take, was it Scott's suggestion of just pulling the boat forward on a trailer? That'll never happen the way it's sitting right there. You would have to actually pick it up and put it on something yeah. if you were going to put it in a trailer. You, gotta, you, you, gotta, you need to have Hercules. <laughs> um, you got to have a crane or something, pick the thing up. Right, otherwise you're going to damage a concrete. Right. It's going to drag across the ground. Right, yeah. So there's no way we can do it. No. That way. Is this guy your friend? He's, he's my uh, garbage guy. Right. You don't socialize with him? No. Okay. $200 money for a laborer to clean up the area. The blocks under that boat weigh about 75 pounds each. They took them off of a uh, pickup truck because that was the only thing they had available on my property to Wait, to somebody pickup truck that was on your property? They I have a snow, a snow plow truck. Oh, wait, with they plow. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So do the um, defendants have to pay the plaintiff for the cost of removing the boat that shouldn't have been on the plaintiff's property? Yes, I think so. Okay, now what about storage? Do they, ha do they have to pay him for storage too? He should pay for storage. But they didn't make a deal about storage. But it's his property. True statement. What do you say? I think they have to pay. They have to pay for both storage and removal? Yes. Anybody think, you see the difference between storage and removal here? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, the guy was a daft teacher. She should never have left it there. should never have left it there. Now, the question is, what are the consequences going inside the courtroom? They stole your bricks to put it on? No. Yes. Well, they didn't steal them. They're still on the property. <laughs> they just well, they took them without permission? Yeah, they reappropriated them. No, we actually, um, I actually, we actually got permission. From who? Um, from the guy that was on the phone that was um, speaking to over the phone. One of the things you said in your answer to the complaint is that you had worked out a deal where you would pay $50 a month in rent. Yeah, with him over the phone. Right, except that when he comes in the next day, it's not on a trailer. 
So well, it's a complete hazard the way you have it there. Uh, so that wasn't going to fly. So, you know, where do you come off leaving it there all this time? You're also suing for six hours of loss of whose time? Your time? My time. Just because you're annoyed? No, more than that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know how I know how you would not have had to lose any time if on that phone call you had said, take that trailer and take your boat and get off my property. Then you wouldn't have lost any time. So what's the $200 for, picking up the bricks and putting them back? That, and I imagine there's going to be uh, debris left on the ground. All right. I am going to rule in your favor, Peter. And I realize you're annoyed at him because you feel like he knew that this was a big problem. And you're probably right that Scott knew this would be a big problem. What Scott knew is that he, he was going to remove the problem from his sphere of life and dump it on someone else. But you don't have standing to sue Scott. So as to Scott, I am dismissing the case. The greater ridiculousness is Victor, who sight unseen takes the boat, and not to put it on his property and junk up his property, but junk up your property. And then, no, I don't have any money. Well, I don't know, I don't know, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Uh, so Victor, I am going to order you to pay up the money that it's going to cost Fabio Enterprises, or the money that Fabio Enterprises is charging, which is a lot of money. And that, that now is on you, that you're going to have to pay. You see, like, the irony of this, that you thought you were getting a free boat. You didn't think through how you were going to handle this. And now you've created this amazing problem by putting it on bricks. How, do, how does someone who puts a boat on bricks not think, this is, how am I going to take it off the bricks? I mean, what did you think you were going to do? Just sit there and work on the boat for 10, 20 years and then, you know, I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff and the amount of the 2120 plus the $50 to so get rid of the hazardous, so $2,170 verdict for the plaintiff. Well, the plaintiff is going to get the money to get the boat moved. $2,100. That's a lot of money. Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know. I lost. You know, the judge put it right. She said, you're an idiot. Do you, yes. How do you feel about that? I mean, I kind of agree on with her on that one when it came down to the boat situation. I didn't think I had. Uh, I just assumed that, you know, once I have the boat, things will just come my way. Did you feel guilty no, leaving he him like the boat? And yeah, I'm leaving him with it that way? He wanted it on the ground. I put it on blocks with him. So it's better than being on the ground. Uh, okay. All right. Good luck to you, okay? Right. Put your brain in gear next time, all right? All right, Peter. You, you were kind of taken advantage of, for sure, but you're a good guy, huh? Too good. Too good. I think sometimes, yes. All right. You think, you think he'll be able to get it away? I don't think so. The, the keel's ruined. So what, I mean, what do you, you think's think, going to happen? Do you really think he'll get it out of there? I don't know. I tried to short circuit this whole thing before I took it to small claims. I begged him to come here and take it back with the same trailer yeah. and avoid all of this. And uh, he felt that, uh, and I guess the judge ruled in his favor in that sense, because the judge ruled that it's in uh, Victor's uh, You're right. Victor's all right. Possession. Well, thank you very much. Okay. You must sign a few documents on your way out of the courtroom. Harvey, what do you think? Okay, clearly, Doug, they, uh, the plaintiff gets the removal fee. As for storage, you can't get storage costs unless there is a prior agreement. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.